Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the forget password in authentication flow. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please to subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please to like, share and comment on my video. So let's see how to do that. So we have the auth controller where we have a controller forgot a password email, right? So here we are just adding the parameters that is email. So here you can see that in the forgot password okay we are accepting the email right if i go and just send it over here send so it will send me the forgot password email so currently there is no email right now login email recent you can see that i received the password token here and if i want to change my password here you can see that so here we have the post request for the reset our password. So here I need to just validate my token and change my new password accordingly. So I will change my password here. Okay. So currently it's admin123, right? So I want to send it. So password changed. Let me log in again. So it's just previous password. If I go, I just enter it. Login error. If I add my new, a new password, right, I can log in. Okay. I will get the token. So let's check uh, check this process with the help of the code level. So step by step, email forget password email send forgot password accepting the email, right? Okay. Auth service send forgot password. If it is if the data is coming, that means we have sent. Else there is an issue. So let's check check how we are going to send it. So here we are checking the find one email. Okay, if it is there, if it is not there, login user not found. Okay, moving to the next part. They await this create forgotten password token. So okay, so this method will help you to create the token, right? The four digit token. And we are sending the email. Token model and the token new password token transporter here. We are just sending the new token here. Token model. Right and the new password token token model in, in the token model what we get the new password token so let's check how it is creating the token so here we go with this one so here you can see that just creating the forgotten password model we have updating that one also okay if I go to the che uh, check this one forgotten password token currently it's not there because we have already do the change password and all otherwise it will create a record over here which emails have the forget password request over there and which are pending over there right so all the pending data will go to the forgotten password model okay so here we are updating the new password token and send that password token to the email also right so whatever it is returning from here it will go there and it will send this to the email right so here we have this one so auth controller send forget here you can see that whatever the data it is to token model so it returning to you password token will send it to the mail okay so that is the thing that we are doing the forget password scenario after that you can verify then you can do the reset password okay so the reset password we are going to learn in the next video or change password that one so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day